Hey everybody, once again, you're tuned into the Metal Magdalene with Jet on Metal Messiah Radio. Tonight, our Las Vegas Death Fest pre-fest show, bringing to you the music of the fest, some fest information, and some guest appearances. And right now we have with us Jared and Greg of Archaic. Welcome to the show, guys. Hello. Hi, right, thanks. <laughs> so thanks guys, <laughs> tonight's show we have a few bands coming on to tell us the lineup of their band and a little history about the band. So tell us a little bit about Archaic, the lineup, and a little bit of your history. Um, okay, I'll take this one. Uh, uh, this is Jared speaking, and uh, I'm the uh, only original member now um, because Archaic was started like as a high school band in uh, 2004. So it wasn't, uh, you know, like totally serious it was just <laughs> high school friends getting together and and playing uh in southern california and riverside was our local area and uh it kind of just after high school we uh we got some more serious members and uh put out some demos put out one kind of unofficial album and uh and then we got signed with unique leader and put out our first album in 2010, Reflections Within Dissonance, and started touring right after that. And so we've been touring on and off since then. Uh, got our third album out in October last year, and uh, kind of a different lineup uh, now, but um, our music is kind of uh, selective. Not everybody can play it, so we... Uh, we're fortunate to have like the members that we have now, and um, yeah, it was just basically uh, me and my my buddy uh, Chance, who's still he's kind of like the invisible sixth member. <laughs> he still uh, writes lyrics here and there. We collaborate on lyrics, and I kind of um, in the past I've been more of like a lyric, like his editor, and kind of add some stuff in here, switch stuff around that works towards the music ry- rhythmically, and uh, but we're still all good friends and stuff. So it's kind of just this, uh, just this band that it's now going on 12 years and, um, just kind of a collective force, I guess. And I, I came in, uh, to the, to the band in 2014, early 2014, um, as a, uh, rhythm slash lead guitarist. Uh, I was a fan of the band at the time. Uh, one of my good friends, uh, Brian Shields, uh, rest in peace. Uh, he, turned me on to their album Metamorphic Nation in 2012 or 13 and uh, I uh, became a fan right away. I like the kind of technical death metal as kind of a, as a guitar player. I geared towards that technical death metal sound in my own playing. So um, then when I heard they were auditioning a new guitar player, I emailed them right away and we jammed and the uh, rest is history, I guess. Um, so that's how I came into Archaic, the camp. So, Greg, you came in just in time to record a new album with them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we were, they were still kind of at the end of the Metamorphic Nation tour cycle, and so I think we all, the album hadn't really, the writing process hadn't really started mm-hmm. until I joined. I think that was what started the writing process for that record. Like, they didn't have songs written before I joined or whatever, so, like, we all got together with that lineup and wrote that album. So that was nice, and you had to come in, you had to be part of the writing process. Now, how does that go? Does everybody just write their parts? Do you all get together? Do you do it over the internet? Uh, well, like, back in the day when, when we were just starting out, we uh, we just practiced. Uh, me and Chance lived a few streets down from each other, and we practiced at his house. Uh, just in a room, we put carpet up on the walls and... and uh, and jam there and we would actually like write together and kind of did it the the old way um but as we started writing more complicated music and um and we were we always had you know like sort of a a trouble finding the right drummer and um somebody who could play the kind of stuff on drums drummers i know probably people in bands out there understand this. The drummers are kind of few and far between when it comes to this stuff. And, uh, so we, uh, for 
some you know like the the last half of the first album we did we already had songs written that we'd written like as a band and then we started writing new songs this was when, when Craig Peters joined the band who's uh, now in Deeds of Flesh um, and he started doing drum programming and recording the riffs on his own and we'd still practice weekly and we'd come up with riffs together and kind of just jam them out and then he'd go and archive them and start compiling songs and then that's how he did most of the composition and and helped with that i mean we all had we all were pretty equal when like throwing in ideas it, we always we didn't want to be uh uh just a one person thing we wanted mm -hmm. to like as many different views collaborative and, yeah mm -hmm. as collaborative as, as we as yeah. we can get so um yeah so craig did that until uh after metamorphic Ignition, and then so lucid dawn was different because um we had two new guitar players and um we had to kind of um rework how we uh make songs and Alex, our drummer at the time, was um, in Battlecross touring. And Testament. <laughs> and Testament. And, <laughs> and then, you know, he like did Decrepit Birth, and he, he was super busy, so it was, he wasn't always around for writing. So, um, so yeah, we do what most people do and, and write drums with Superior Drummer. Yeah. It's like the best tool <laughs> that you could use if you're just... Yeah, I mean, it's great. You don't want to use it as a crutch and write things that you can't play, but... Um, but it's definitely a huge tool and it just, you get to hear your music, uh, how it would sound with a real drummer. And it's just like, it's, and you can also uh, experiment more. I think using just with using technology to your advantage, you can kind of structure a more thought out song instead of just maybe jamming for a couple hours and like kind of doing it that way, which is, there's nothing wrong with that. But, uh, yeah, I think for Lucid Dawn, we, uh, we all wrote riffs, like Ivan, our bass player, and Miguel, and myself, and even Jared, and we all kind of, the original idea would maybe spark individually, and then when we did get together, like on the weekends and stuff, when we're not working, we all had like days off, we'd kind of bring it all together, and like arrange it this way, and like <laughs> cut this one, or like loop this one that way, and, and uh, so it was like a combination of like working on our own and then collaborating later with the riffs and ideas. And like you said, Lucid Dawn came out like in October of last year. So, so how has that album been received now with this lineup that you have on it? Uh, pretty well. Um, mm -hmm. I can tell, you know, like there's a different, we wanted to try to focus on songwriting and, and songs that could hold the, energy throughout the whole song and and uh and kind of just experiment with um with uh grooves more groove structured kind of mm -hmm. stuff and and but still i don't know it's just kind of like we wanted to try to try to write better songs i guess that's what memorable probably songs. yeah it might make things more memorable because we we had about we probably had a whole nother album's worth of material that we didn't use just because yeah. we felt that maybe it didn't go, it didn't have like its counterparts to make a whole song or yeah. or it was just an idea here or a cool riff here. And we still have most of that stuff. So it's kind of nice because, um, you know, we're, we're writing now and we still have some riffs that we didn't use and stuff like that. But we wanted to, uh, we wanted to just keep the headbanging aspect there and the ability to just like rock out with the song and not make it such a chore to like listen to, right? And it's like no, this... I... I'm sorry. Go ahead. Well, I was just gonna say uh, I saw a lot of good reviews for the albums, mm -hmm. but for for Lucid Dawn after it came out, so I was I was stoked with the uh, reception. Yeah, so like it's been good. Um, a lot of our fans who who've been following us like it, and they think it's yeah. like an expansion of what we're doing so i haven't heard many people say they hate it so that's good <laughs> that's Maybe. a good thing and if you have like your regular followers and your regular fans that like it then 
then you must be doing something right there. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, so this year, you know, you guys off to the Las Vegas Death Fest. Now, have you guys ever been to the fest before, either as a fan or to play? Uh, the only time I went there is when we played. Uh, I'm pretty sure we played there twice, but <laughs> we um, might have been just once. I, I can't remember, but... Oh, oh and we played there twice, or... Did we? Not Vegas Death Fest, though, since I've No, and, but we've played in Vegas. We've definitely yeah. played Vegas. No, but, but we we played the Vegas Death Fest, like, a long... It's been a while, so um, I just know. I think we played it before we started touring, and then I think we played it... I think we played it twice. Mm -hmm. So, um, but that was before Greg was this whole lineup, so... Um, I think Ivan was there, though. But, yeah... Uh, I think it's a great thing. Like I've seen it grow over the years and I've, I always like, you know, scope it out and check out the lineup. I think the big fests are cool. Like Bay area death fest, for example, like anything where you get in a lot of bands, you're going to get a bigger crowd and like, it's a cool community and people like, I see people traveling to go to these things. Like, yeah. mm -hmm. so you see, you get to see a lot of people you wouldn't normally see it just like a little, like a, maybe a smaller show or something. So, and it's cool to hang out with so many bands too. And you get to meet a lot of new bands and, and the, uh, uh, the emphasis on brutality and like mm -hmm. the really brutal, yeah, like, exactly. Music. I think it's that's nothing. what, that's kind of what Las Vegas death fest, death fest has always yeah. been is, uh, more with the really brutal, really extreme bands. Stay and true. That's, <laughs> that's why, uh, that's why I like it. No, oh, yeah, it's definitely cool. You know, the, don't get all the all the overproduced symphonic deathcore <laughs> shit that's go, so popular these days. Not to not that I've got anything against that, but it's cool to like yeah have these like death metal, like, like brutal actual death metal bands. And the same, the brutal death metal fans too. So it ought to be quite the experience for everybody. Yeah, <laughs> I can't wait. Yeah. So so what night are you guys playing, or day? Uh, Friday. And are you guys staying for the entire festival? Um, we're gonna be there Friday and Saturday, and then we have a show in Reno on Sunday at PB and J's. And then not PB and J, different yeah, venue, but is this PB and J's? Okay, yeah. my mistake. <laughs> well, they yeah, could always go Reno after that on Sunday, but we're gonna be there for um, for Friday and Saturday. Isn't it Thursday? Aren't they doing stuff on Thursday? Yes. Okay. I think it's Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So you guys will be there Friday and Saturday. And, you know, is there any particular band that you're looking forward to seeing or you just want to go see them all as much as you can? <laughs> I, I want to see them all. I just, I want to, you know, just see who stands out to me and, you know, like, and just not really anticipating, like, um, any bands. But I, I just know... I have faith that, you know, I think, uh, shoot, what was his name? Um, the guy putting it on, Michael Gordon, I think is his name, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I have, you know, I have faith that he's put together a, a good lineup. And, yeah, a lot of the bands I haven't heard of, really, but... Uh, we, uh, well, there's Sacrificial Slaughter is going to be there. Yeah. That'll be cool. Those uh, are our buddies from SoCal. Mm -hmm. And are you guys going to be bringing lots of merch and stuff with you? Yeah, um, we're gonna bring what we have. We're gonna, we have a tour in July that we're we're trying to uh, yeah. prepare for and stuff. Um, but yeah, we'll have we'll have uh, plenty of designs. We'll Shirts, some... CDs, vinyl, yeah. all that good stuff. <laughs> okay, again, you guys can catch Jared and Greg and their band Archaic Friday, June tenth at the Las Vegas Death Fest. And Jared and Greg, thank you for coming on to talk about the band and what's going on with you guys, and have fun at the festival. Thanks a lot. Appreciate Thanks for having us.